<laughs> hey, welcome back to the Reggies. Sitting here with three blokes who could have been anything. I'm Gropa, sitting here with Tommy and Jace. You nailed that. <laughs> <laughs> sitting here with three blokes and I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I said could have been anything. <laughs> You did. You no, cut yourself short. No, that's fine, mate. That's fine. Definitely Mix it forgot, up a bit. <laughs> definitely <laughs> forgot to say, but chose not to. <laughs> yeah, chose that fun. Uh, a bit are. of an origin special here this morning, yes. uh, boys. Yep. This will be out Wednesday morning. That's um, right. The day still... of, the fucking day, day of. of. The day the where day. everyone does not think about what they should be doing at work because it doesn't fucking matter mm. and it's all about state of origin. All That's you right. can talk and think about is footy. If all your about... boss doesn't mention it in the pre-start, he's a fuckwit. Probably from New South Wales. That's right, yeah. and he wouldn't get it. They, they wouldn't mention it down there. It'd be fucking too sore for him. Still, which is scary. Mm. Bleeding ass. Eight in a row. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Still hurts. <laughs> oh, it would. Well, if you, look, if New South Wales got eight in a row, it'd hurt me. Oh, yeah. I'd, be hurt. I'd be. It hurt. must suck. It won't. it just. It's impossible for that to happen, though. Mm. It just won't happen. Yeah, it won't. Yeah. Anyway. See, well, you could argue that they should be on like a three or four winning streak after all the guns retired, but we've happened to sneak a yeah. few wins in yeah, there, yeah, so yeah. they haven't got. Oh, cool. Like the exactly. eight in a row was awesome, and then they got the series in 2014. Yeah. But then to do three peat after that immediately yeah. <laughs> was so good. Fucking hell. Uh, uh, yeah. Fucking hell. But yeah, so this one's going to be obviously like we told you last episode, a bit different. I'm not yeah. going to be here on Wednesday, so the boys are going to rip into an episode fresh off of whatever happens tonight. That's right. And yeah, it'll be one tomorrow morning, that's fresh right. reaction of what has happened. Exactly. So that's going to be the plan there. And um, it will do the all-in today, but the boys will cover the rest of the best. Yeah, we'll do yep. a bit of all-in. We're not going to do much punting. We will give a fucking quick shout-out to Barbary, though. Oh. oh. Just a quick one. And Pedro. Fucking know. Because they held the team together last they did. weekend. It's good to see sharing the wins around a bit too. Yeah. Like my back was starting to hurt there a bit. Well, that's carrying everyone, but <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> my all in shoulders are getting broad. <laughs> yeah. Can you back something over dollar fifty, please? <laughs> <laughs> um no, nah, look, it was good to get Safrado again for the for the listeners. Great and horse. then that bet of the year there from Pedro almost, I reckon. That, it was Bound to happen. Eventually, he's going to get a fucking NRL yeah. multi. Look, I just think now um, he needs to go out on top. Don't ever do him again. As a show, if you put on a couple of things of bets, mm. if everyone puts one on everything and you win, then that's a win, mate. If you're putting the right. same amount on every bet we do, you're up. Yeah, there's no way right. you're down. Exactly. exactly, which is the goal. Especially well, the with goal. that Safrado thirty-five dollars or thirty-four dollars, whatever it got up at the yeah. other week, and then again at tens. Yeah, and then we had keto last week at eights. Jace, Jace, uh, Pe- Jace's dad. I was going to call him. <laughs> well, <laughs> Pedro, he is <laughs> Pedro at eights. Unreal. No, it was good. good. Two, for, two in a row for the old boys too. Mm. Yeah, it's good so, to see him. If you back us, you won't rocket. lose. Do something. Yeah, right, right. Rocket. Rocket. <laughs> 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 he will. He's done the last couple of weeks. He's just paced you. Blokes. Oh, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. His fucking shit got on another, the Got another Snapchat yeah. from him Saturday night yeah. after the full time siren went over in New Zealand, and it was like. Uh, the the Brizzy Fish get up by a forward pass or something. <laughs> oh, that'd be the, the Ricky fish. one, actually. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Righto. Fuck off. That pass was flat. The Brizzy Fish mm. means we call Gladstone Brothers here the fish. So he calls them the Brizzy Fish because it's the Bronx. <coughs> up the fish. Anyway, it was um, it was really good to see that. Come on, Rocket, do something. Mm. Fucking over. So we'll just do a quick recap of the weekend. Because yeah. obviously there was five games of footy, mm. five good games of footy. I think we all got um, four out of five too, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. I missed the I missed the Raiders. I tipped the Raiders. Yeah, I missed the I fucking the too. Broncos. Well, <laughs> yeah. The bros are out to fuck me <laughs> in the hole <laughs> for the rest of my life, I think. Yeah, yeah. You're cursed. That, uh, You're fucking cursed. That game on Thursday, was it? With the Dolphins. Yeah. Mm. Jeez, that was hard to watch. <laughs> was it? <laughs> Fucking oath. Mm. Fuck me. I tell you who actually was quite impressive was Milford. Yeah. He fucking he was scored a good try there. And he, <laughs> he was good. Well, I was actually at the old, old boy's place and I went outside just after to see him after <laughs> Milford scored. He goes, what's the score? And I went... Milford just scored and he goes, oh, I'll be fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck is, he, he is he beyond the point of like getting emotional about the game now when the Dragons play? Or well, I he... think he said uh, him and mum the other week when they got the win last week, 
Um, yeah, the last round, he said they were pumping like Origin when they won oh, at the end. Like, I bet. He must have sat there and actually watched the game. And he said that it was pretty good to see him win in the last couple of minutes. Like, yeah. <laughs> big win, too, against Reese's. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. I think, he, was, was I think he, was, he enjoyed that. But, oh, mate, what could you do as a Dragon supporter? That's what I mean. It's like you just got to roll with it and hopefully yep. things change. And, but yeah. it's not going to be a short turnaround. Like, nah. that's a proper club fucking rebuild three four years yeah, yeah. as a yeah. brisbane fan when we were struggling proper like wooden spoon year and that you just lose fucking optimism you just yeah, going in yeah. it's just like yeah i'll watch him this week but uh yeah. with no expectation i think that's a better all. way of going in because yeah if you go in expecting to win you're just going to be so heartbroken oh everywhere. yeah it's like me whenever i watch hawthorne play now yeah i'm like Pumped if we're doing well, but we if we get pumped, it's all right. But if exactly. I see a young player do something good, I'll be like, mm. yeah, that's you know. Yeah, and then yeah. when we win games, like on the weekend, yeah, it was growing. fucking awesome. Yeah, like, yeah. I was sitting well, there not watching to me. The, watching the last quarter, we kicked five goals in a row to steamroll them, and I'm up on the couch just going, fucking, how good is this? It's yeah. impressive, especially in AFL, and there's that momentum comeback. Yeah. Like it's fucking, it gets your blood pumping. I'll tell you what, it? it's better. It's better when you've got your team sucks and you get up like that. Than if your team's good and you lose games that you should oh. should win. Sorry, definitely. It's well, so, so much better winning games you shouldn't than losing games that you should win. But like, this is the best year ever to go for a shit team because in the NRL, <laughs> I'm like talking NRL, obviously, like well, the Tigers the- and the fucking um, the Dragons and that. Every team this year has won a game they shouldn't have to get their fans pumped. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, even, what a fucking year to support a team that hasn't gone so well. Even yeah. AFL last weekend. There was the four out of the five oh. on Saturday, or yeah, what the upset? Suns beat doggies. Geelong lost to GWS at home. <laughs> like that, we just don't fucking lose a kid in your park, and we go to lose in GWS. That was wild. Free OBDs in fucking Melbourne, and yeah, Hawks as well. Like that was a big upset weekend for AFL too. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And um, it was finished. Well, Sydney beat Carlton. No, that wasn't too much of one, but nah, I can't those four that. that you just mentioned, all on the Saturday too. Yeah, every exactly. Saturday game was an upset. Yeah, and they were cracking games. Too. Besides D's smashing West Coast, was that on Saturday as well? D's. Oh, sorry, not D's. <laughs> fucking bombers. Nah, that was on. Oh, uh, it was on Saturday. Sorry. Yeah. So four out of the five games were just these stupid yeah. upsets, and they were all like. So West Coast Close. fans would have been going into that game with a bit <laughs> yeah. of hope. <laughs> yeah, sorry, boys. Well, to only lose by 50 is an upset. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> oh, no, nah, but it's, it is good to see. Um, hopefully. Oh, yeah. oh sorry, mate. No, you go. No, I was just going to say, before we moved on from that, like the Broncos game and that or whatever, that Tristan Saylor try saver. Oh, little Dell. That wow. was awesome that was to see. Trying. A bloke getting a sniff. And he pulls off something Just like had that, his like mitt proper yeah. under, the, mitt ball, under eh? the ball and perfect. If that was yeah. like calculated so cool. perfectly as well, the way he like held it before he fully rolled over with the ball, that's fucking unreal, man. Yeah, that I think he's obviously so got impressive. lucky with where his hands ended yeah. up, but he would have felt I mean. the ball. And, oh, yeah. for sure. Unreal. He played very, he played a fucking Mate, why would she be lucky to get his spot back? Oh, <laughs> he's up, Billy. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> nah, I'm not. But, no, nah, it was good. I don't think he'd played for a couple of years, had he? No, nah, it was his first NRL game in like three years. Yeah. Well, it would have been his first game for the Bronx, eh? Because he was at the yeah. Dragons, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yep. It was yep. awesome. Good on him. Yeah. Would have been, it was pretty cool to see a photo of him and Billy Walters as well. It's like, just change the times. They did, their old boys played together. Yeah. Heavy and Wendell, so. I, I, I really hope Billy Walters proves me wrong over the course of his career because I fucking hate that he plays for the Bronx. Oh, he's so frustrating to watch. Oh, I was going to say, do you reckon those two are literally only playing in RL because their old boys are there? It would have got them a good think... sniff. Mm. Would have definitely got them a sniff. Yeah. But who else are we going to put? No, no. I, I'm, I'm just saying that's a controversial thing. <laughs> oh. But, like, it's not like those two are just world beaters. So they probably did get there because they're old they boys. Got but the, yeah. they're still doing a job in the NRL playing that yeah. level. I wish if Billy Walters didn't give away... The dumb penalties he does, I mm. wouldn't care His, about yeah. anything else. I'd be like, righto, you're like one of those average fucking hookers. That's yep. all we want. That's perfect. But he just like fucking fires up or does something stupid all the time and just gives away just the little one percent as a. And then he'll he'll have this shit. silly look on his face like. What? Yeah. <laughs> There's definitely got to be some fucking nepotism in the fact that he hasn't been dropped at least. Mm. 
But like, what, hey, I the, what does that word mean? Quickly, that fucking just bedazzled oh, me. Oh, just like getting what advantage is, because of your parents. Yeah, like, right. What, did, what was it? Nepo- what? Nepotism. <laughs> Holy fuck! Well, that's you, what I mean. Fucking. Well, I've never heard that ever. <laughs> ne- neither have if, I. If like I, your old boy gets you a job somewhere, that's nepotism. That has got to be you, the right. most A grade word ever said on the register. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, cunts. <laughs> well, it was. <laughs> it fucking it was. It was. It made me stop and fucking ask you. Yeah. What you're, the fuck was that word? I was like, why is he looking at me so fucking he confused right now? <laughs> didn't My know. brain didn't even register it. I thought we were talking about Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> That's a planet. <laughs> that is. <laughs> uh, All right. Anyway, where were we? Um... The rat, oh no. Actually, we're talking about dads and sons, which has a fair bit to do with origin with New South Wales kissing each other. Yes. <laughs> we'll save that for later. Yeah, yeah, we will. Give us 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be right into that territory. <laughs> yeah. uh, next game on Saturday, what was it? The milk? Milk got up against bunnies. We yeah. missed yeah. the eels. We missed the eels. Sorry, eels fans. Oh. You've done all right. You've been. You so you should have fucking won that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The cows actually played right. Drink they water did. was on Drinky fire. Drinky and fucking Kyle felt linking up there. They yeah. looked really good. That was mm. good. Moses was good again, and Hopgood just tackled his hole off as usual. Oh, yeah, every um, But yeah, then there was another game on the Saturday half before the Raiders too. That was the Bronx. We've already yeah. covered them. Mm. But yeah, what a high scoring game, eh? It mm. was a good game of footy. To I watch. fucking I regret picking bunnies. I've always picked bunnies this year. But something back me, I was like, oh, like I said, Raiders have no origin stars out. Mm. I don't know why I picked Bunnies. Yeah. Yeah, that was the only reason I picked them. It was like Latrell being out, like the, the origin lads and fucking. Yeah. yeah well, the Papali'i Papali and Tarpany played massive minutes too. Oh, Tarpany killed it. Tarpany man. never plays 65. And then Gropes doesn't trade him into his fantasy team and he plays 65. Mm. Boy, I reckon <laughs> that'd be a good feeling for like a player like. Papali'i and Jackie Whiten to give up rep footy while they're still feeling really good, finishing mm. on a high and going really focus on that. Because you can't say that that wouldn't fuck your head up a bit with your club land footy during origin and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. But at least now they're proper just focused on Canberra yeah. and just fucking yep. everything that Especially they're Especially in a time where other teams are not as... That's they're missing right. big star yeah. players. So they can fucking take advantage of that they should. They should look at this period as a time <clears> to like... Really capitalise. Yeah, exactly. Because they've got right. those two players and they're still, you know, they're not old. Yeah, and there's teams that, like, this time of the year is when the big teams tend to lose a couple games. Yeah. Yep. The better teams obviously always have origin stars. Yeah, for sure. The Raiders are easily a top eight contender and they're building. This is mm. a fucking, that, this, like, next couple months here in origin, they could really jump the way up the ladder, I reckon. Bloody oath, they could. Yep. Um, the Knights... Jeez, it was a bit scary there. Yeah. I'm actually <laughs> lucky the all-in was already shot to shit because Tom, <laughs> Tom would have been panicked 14-10 there early in the second half. Uh, yeah, it's all about the end result, mate. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. There was no end result for us. <laughs> no. Should have went first just to give us a sniff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mentioned it off air and you've gone, I think we've done four weeks of the all-in multi now. Mm. Yeah. And... Two out of those four, Jace has gone against Hawthorne. So it fucking serves you right. Oh, well, going one against. of them got up. You harp on about, oh, it conflicts me going against my own team. And then you make, me, you make me go <laughs> against my own team. Lucky it's my fucking leg that I pick. <laughs> yeah, that, of, that's right. Of <laughs> our it's your Mc, in. Because it's your McRight. Of our. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll run it past each episode. Didn't Grape, we win can when I put I, this bet on? Didn't we win when I went against Bronx? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. So three out of four years have gone against. Well, that was your team too, but you yeah. Know. Oh, sorry. I'll have to think of that next time I put a bet on if Groper would. Yeah, we got to ask him for permission. If it'd feel good <laughs> if they won. All I was saying was, <laughs> is that it serves you right. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Get that in here. Oh, it's up in me. I wish I could um, go against Penrith for the all in, but it's too hard. <laughs> yeah, no, that is a bit of a hard one. Unless you're the West Tigers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that just proves, doesn't it, that anything could fucking happen. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, we sort of covered the AFL a little bit. We did. The upsets. Yeah. There was a great game. Uh, Richmond played Port. That was a cracker. That was a cracker. And then last night, last game of the round, Adelaide played Brisbane. 
Yeah. He's got up. Uh, He's got up. Uh, <laughs> it was a good game of footy too. You were up by about three or four, probably four or five goals there, and then Brisbane come back and scores were level halfway through yep. the third quarter. And Adelaide had kicked away. Actually, our mate might be off me that I'm not going for Brisbane because they're the Queensland team. <laughs> oh, yeah. He might be really off yeah, me. You're, Sorry, mate. You're backwards, cunt. You yeah. squawking, <laughs> your fucking crow squawk has imprinted so fucking hard into my brain now. This morning, driving to work, and you know how crows are pretty like agile. They get out of the way of your car. Yeah. This dumb little cunt just in the middle of the road just... Bang, hits it, goes straight up my bonnet, lands in my tray of my really? ute. I'm driving, I look in the back, I'm like, fuck, man, we have to pull over and throw this cunt out. He's still half alive. <laughs> oh, did you save him? I couldn't. I had to get oh, to work. I, I pulled did over. Kill, did you at least, like, humanely kill it? So no. put it out of its pain? No. You just threw it just, out. Just wait. Oh, I pulled over. <laughs> gra- <laughs> Just give me a fucking second. Sorry. I pulled over and he's, oh, look, he's looking back. He's got like a couple broken. Oh, he's only got two wings to fucking break, but he's, I think they're broken. He's looking up at me going, arr, arr, and I'm just like, oh, come on, mate. And just laid him into the grass and then. And then left. And then yep, got but his hands and I went, arr, <laughs> arr, oh. But I've, as I've driven home, I'm looking for on the side of the road where I put him and he wasn't there. So yeah, because like, a big fucking Mick Eagle has come and just <laughs> taken. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, the moral of the story yeah. was the cunt squawking, and the first thing I think is Tom Dahl. Yeah, that's a <laughs> great. Imagine if you have a yarn like that, you have a podcast, and you weren't going to tell it. It just <laughs> yeah. so happened, and I went, ah, and he's like, oh, by the way, I had a hectic fucking thing with a crow. Oh, wow. All the way to work, I was like, oh, I'll tell just you what, champion, it. open your notes up, throw a crow in it. Next yeah. time, so you just. But I'm glad we got it. We're glad we got the young. <laughs> but um, t- you've just fucked whatever we're going to put on though, because I remember um with Larry, I hit a crow before we went to UFC Perth, and I think that's the only reason reason Volkanovski lost. Yeah. Really? Well, we couldn't figure out if a crow bad hitting omen. a crow was a good omen or a bad omen. I thought it was a good one. Looked it up on Google. Apparently, it's a bad omen. Oh. And so we might be fucked this week. Right. So no. And if, it's not like the fucking <laughs> Origins Wednesday night or anything either. This yeah, is terrible so timing. So if Origin what loses, if the All-In loses, it's all Jace's fault for unhumanely <laughs> tossing a crow. Just tossing him. <laughs> I didn't just fucking spiral him out into the grass. I laid, it's the, because I laid Jace, the cunt to rest. It's because Jace pulled his car up and yeeted the crow. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't lay him to rest. You laid him to live. Yeah, well, maybe he's fucking thanking his lucky stars. The yeah. poor boy. Oh, ho- best, case scenario, best case scenario, he's broke a wing or so and he was just had a fucking, it was a bit of a stinger. Well, yeah. I suppose <laughs> there's heaps of ground bugs, you know. Oh, crow can just hop around and peck. Yeah, exactly. So, well, he, if the fact that he wasn't there might be a good sign. Exactly. Mm. I thought I was like, best case scenario, he's gotten up and gone. Oh, it's just a stinger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. It was off. only a car. Is that all you got? Of... <laughs> 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 I was only going about Hell, seventy. That... <laughs> <laughs> seventy car. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, crow. He hit the nudge bar anyway, so would have just oh. stunned him a bit. I reckon. Fuck. <laughs> lucky he didn't wow. get hit by the cruiser. That <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I slowed down That's a bit great. for him too. I was like, this kind of move surely. And then like hit the brakes and then dunk, just straight into me. It's a good rest. feeling having something to blame if everything goes to shit though now. Like yeah. someone. Yeah. Yeah, you right. love that. Yeah, yeah. I'm the scapegoat yeah. next Tom week. Tom actually loves a nice excuse yeah. mm. to get out of it. Very aggressive today, you <laughs> I are. Think he, I think he <laughs> secretly <laughs> wants our legs to lose and then his yeah. to win. So just so he, he can, can hang shit on. on us the whole time. Yeah. No, it's just when they do, I'll just take advantage of it. Yeah, no, he can literally good. crow next week. Anyway, yeah. that turned around quickly. <laughs> mm, I dude. like when uh, the crows lose and you do the losing crow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. what the crow did this morning. <laughs> 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 he did the losing <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> he looked up at you with his eyes and went. <laughs> he didn't he, like when I picked him up. He didn't even like fucking try and like go at me either. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> lay me to rest, but don't put me out of my misery just yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then a big eagle just come and swoop. And then Jace went, "I'm late, yeet." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He would have made me late, so I was... Oh, well. Well, that is not any sort of segue, but uh, what do we got here? No. I was going <laughs> to say, should we put the earliest tips in ever? Or do you want to do that after? No, that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're putting the tips in. I think in. this is the earliest any show has ever put tips in for yeah. a round of football. Yeah, We've got no team sheet. 
<laughs> we don't know who's going to back up, but we did, wouldn't have known that either anyway on that. Wednesday night. Um, and yeah, you watch us get fucking <laughs> perfect round. <laughs> yeah, we'll get. If I had two jokers, I dead set would put it on just to show you how shit there, there it is. Tepid. Oh, mine's gone. Anyway, do them again. Um, righto. So we got Campbelltown Stadium at eight pm. We got the Tigs versus the Milk. milk. I've got a feeling. Oh no! There goes that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I got a feeling that I might have. Fucking the TIG, the bandwagon might be heating up. Oh. But then you said milk. So, yeah. Well, no, I think, like I just talked up Canberra before, I think they'll capitalise in this period. See, and I contradicted myself here too, because I've gone the milk a fair bit. We just talked up why the milk's going well. well However, swap, swap. Nah. However, the NRL season is fucking all over the place. I'm not even going to say like what. I normally say something. It's not suitable for air. <laughs> um, but I'm going. <laughs> I'm going the Tigs just because I think this NRL season's cooked and Man, I think the why the fuck can't they win? They, this they would can. not be an upset at all, in my opinion. It would be according to bookmakers and Bluebet. Yeah. But not Weird huge. things have happened this year. Campbelltown, mm. they just come yeah. off a th- like flogging at fucking Leichhardt. Mm. And they're orange too, Jay, you grub. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not like that, but it's fucking Campbelltown. Oh, it's yeah. fucking Campbelltown. They had, to, they had the fucking buy too, so they could exactly. be cheering. So you're going but I'm not changing too, my right? tip. Yeah, oh, well, Tigs. Yeah, fuck off then, mate. <laughs> I was just backing this up a little bit. Tigs <laughs> by six on the uh, ESPN app. That's what I went to. That's a little I a little it. hack for all you tipsters out there. Yeah, it gets you higher up. Whoever you want to pick, just go six in case mm. your team loses. <laughs> yeah. Because then you don't lose heaps on the margin. Yeah, right? that's a good one, mate. Nice. Um, righto, Saturday, 3 p.m. at Mount Dumb Stadium. Oh, hey. Hey. oh they're not they're not playing. <laughs> yes. oh, I've nailed it. He's um, done it. They're um they're not playing at fucking where'd they play on the Streaker Wednesday? Stadium. <laughs> they're not playing at Mount Streaker. Where clothes are optional. <laughs> Back to um, Mount Dumb. Right yeah, on. back to Mount Dumb. And <laughs> please tell me you're saying fuck the Warriors. And yes, up. the bros have <laughs> yeah. fucked me, oh. so I'm going the Finns. Yes. Fins up. Fuck the bros. Fuck yes, because I'm going the bros. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. going bros as well. Ah, <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I was about to say, am I going to be the I should fucking change to go with you so you both That's lose exactly with me. what I wanted to hear, was you on the Finns. <laughs> Wow. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not changing, so that's me. Beauty. Don't really have a reason why, just because they fucked me last week, so right. I'll fuck them back. Um, 5.30 at Seabus Super Stadium. Titans versus Rabbitohs. Is, here's a question. Mm. We're going to get to this in a bit, but is Trell good to play this game? He's out one to three weeks, it says. Okay, so he's You're not, not playing, playing Origin. Yeah, like fucking hell. He's not playing on Saturday if he's nah. not playing on Yeah. I don't think he's playing. Ooh. Will Murray in that back up. I've got, I've got the rabbits here, but fuck. I've gone rabbits as well, yeah. It's going to try out a little narrative to talk about next well, week. Well, I, was, but I wanted to change it. Because it's at the Gold Coast, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. 94% so. on the rabbits. Mm. It's a lot. I'm mm. part of that. Oh, um, yeah, so <laughs> yeah. am I. Righto. They, fuck good, they shouldn't bounce. They shouldn't... Uh, that's back-to-back losses for them. Mm. Yeah. They shouldn't be get, losing three in a row. I wish no. the Titans weren't such a fucking spineless defensive team. Mm. Like, just crumble. That is actually... Fuck, it annoys a me. A great overs bet there. Yeah. That is a great total, shout. Total points over. Even if you just do that. Yeah. I wish there was a market for that. I would do mm. it. But it's all. Monday, so... <laughs> yeah, but it's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now I'm going to get... Fisted for this next one. Mm. But I already know. Right. Oh, next one. Points bet stadium. We're going Sharks v Broncos. Well, uh, you know my tip. What's that, mate? The Bronx. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're obviously right. on the Bronx. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm on the Sharkies. I feel like I feel we'll get to the origin chat and what we think will happen, but I feel like Nico's playing fifteen minutes max. Yeah. Twenty max, I reckon. Guess how many game. Renault's playing? Zero mm. in the origin. <laughs> mm. I'm talking myself into Brisbane here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so exactly. I just think, you know, 
I just feel like they're gonna, yeah. The all baby all Bronx the fucking stepped up last year. Yeah, I know. Weekend. It was against, it was against a good back. forward pack too. Exactly. Yeah. And fuck that. I'm going Brisbane. Hey, <laughs> oh, the oh, like he's changed his, he changed his tip. That's yeah. good. fucking oath. Yeah. He's fucking good just man. done himself there. Yeah, I would have. Um, <laughs> on poor old Flegs is going to get his fucking ass handed to him and not back up. No, we'll probably oh, get sent oh. off in the first ten and be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, hopefully, hopefully not. Take Touch wood. Is, have they said anything about? Uh, uh, we'll get to it no, later. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Get excited. Um, yeah, oh, it's hard not to. Queensland. Uh, <laughs> two o'clock <laughs> at Central Coast Stadium. On Sunday, we're going Roosters versus the Dogs. I'm going to tip the Roosters because something has to have changed in the last two weeks. Joey Manu's back. Teddy will back up because he has to. Mm. Like, he can't not play because he's the captain of the club and they're going so shit. And it's on Sunday. That's fucking yeah. like, three days turn. Teddy will have to back up. Manu's back. Come on, the fucking chooks. Do something. Well, I'm um, – this year, if you know anything about rugby league <laughs> – you just shit at tipping, and I think I do, and I'd go the Roosters, so I'm going the Bulldogs purely because of that. I yeah. think what you – no, you said that right. Sorry. I well, was to... <laughs> I've gone the Dogs as well, but that's not my logic. It's that I've fucking tipped Roosters most of the time this year, and they let me down every time. Well, it's sort too. of the same ah. narrative there. Yeah, exactly. So, just, Roosters have just been so shit this year and below par. So I'd enjoy watching them lose and tipping it. Exactly. I'd like to go, <laughs> yeah. oh, they lost, and I get a fucking tip up. Yeah, exactly. True. Instead of going, oh, thanks, cunt. Exactly That's what I, that's right. what I did the other week with the Dragons. Mm. It was yeah, awesome. that was a <laughs> That would have been pick. good. It's great. Last play of the game too. Yes. Yeah. Now, here's my little... Well, I've got the Tigs there oh, for the upset. Oh, fucking has he. And At- I've also got Brisbane for the upset now as well, so could possibly change that one too. <laughs> but <laughs> I just think the Cabs sort of found a bit of form there last week. You it's- think they're going to beat Melbourne? Well, I just who's going to back up there? It's on Sunday as well. Harry Grant, if he's coming off the bench and doesn't play max minutes. True. Munster will probably back up. Fuck. Yeah. Are you yeah. going to change your mind again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Melbourne. Well, I'll tip Melbourne. <laughs> yeah, I'm going the classic. I'll tip it's fucking too. Monday. Mm. Yeah, I'm it's tipping Monday. Melbourne. I'm going, I'm going Melbourne too. Yep. Righto. And last one of the round, we got Penrith versus the Spooners. Yeah. yeah that's a no-brainer. Sure. I'll fucking, this would be one that I would love. I'm not. I'm tipping Penrith, but I would love to tip the Dragons and watch them win. <laughs> yeah. yeah now, you fuck, would. that'd be good. <laughs> fucking oath. Yeah, I I just think there maybe if Ben Hunt wasn't in the um, Origin and they rested every Origin player, Penrith. Yeah. But yeah. I just think Ben Hunt is a massive part of that team. He's backing up as well. Yeah. I'm sure a couple of the Penrith boys will probably get a rest, but I just can't see. It's it. a hard one for me because I want the Dragons to get the spoon because of the pastings I've been getting yeah. with Rocket. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <Exactly. laughs> <laughs> and we've chirped it up that And every game the, the Broncos win, it's because of the ref. Mm. <laughs> so yeah. I want the Dragons to fucking get the spoon. <laughs> so, But then I also don't want Penrith to win the comp again. So. Mm. Yep, me neither. <laughs> it's hard. Well, they don't win the comp in fucking this is June, like This is like the Blues playing New South Wales, this game. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's on both of them to fucking lose. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, there's the tips. draw, mate. Oh, there you go. Picked there a couple is. upsets this week. Can you, you even watch all do the, that? You watch all know. the betting favourites win this week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that I've gone a couple of rogues. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. Hopefully that happens, except the Bronx and the Tigs. The Tigs. Right, I found the Tigs. Now, now as me. promised, as promised on last week's show, I said we were going to make a drink with oh. this little beauty here. Ooh. With Standard the Standard squeeze. squeeze bottle. Um you can get it from thestandardsqueeze.com. Make sure you give them some love on their socials as well. It works exactly the same way as it does when you're pouring a bit of oil for your whipper snipper. That's right. Give it a squeeze. squeeze. It pours you a perfect 30 mil. In it goes. Oh. Bang. You get your mixer of choice. We've it, got um, some no-branded. Bit of Drano. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a bit of Drano. Bit of cola. We've got some no-branded cola. <laughs> And you just pour it in there like that. It's just that standard. Just that simple. And before you start lifting up, oh, I'll just go down to the mower shop and get myself a two-stroke bottle. No, no, 
fucking no. <laughs> you can't because it's not food grade. It'll get shit all in your. Um, Even if you get an empty alcohol. one and you think you've just beaten the system. No, you haven't. You can't. You haven't. You cannot. Exactly. This is this food, is food grade. grade plastic. Coming into the best time of year for camping, fishing, getting mm. outdoors, you know, rug up, chuck that in the gunnel of your boat, in your bag, in your pocket. They come small. So rip in. It's perfect. You can do anything with this, as in, like, throw it anywhere, won't break, smash it on anything. It's Lightweight. Good to go. Can Lightweight, bloody oath. And you got your little sticker here to write what's in it in case you forget. And That's you right. can actually, can you buy You can. Yeah, they come with little now. stickers, the, whatever your yep. piss is. But, um, That's right. So hook in. Instructions on the back. Get on there. Like I said, standardsqueeze.com. Give some love on the the socials. Give me some love on the (laughs) socials. And yes, use Reggie15 for 15% off at checkout. How good. Now, a couple of nominations, I think, from the same game. And then we'll just pick it. So, who was the winger? Pompey. Adam Pompey. Adam Pompey. Pompey. Or Senna, was it? The Senna. He's given the flick pass out to his winger and then he's grabbed on to the Bronx winger. They've scored the, the match-winning try and then they've gone back. The bunker said, obviously, you can't hold on to his jersey. Yeah. You're stopping him from making the <clears throat> tackle. No try. Oh, wow. Booze around the ground. It was just like – it was clearly a penalty, but in the same time, you're like, fuck, was he going to get there anyway? Yeah, anyway? but it's a black and white call. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. so dumb. As soon as I – didn't see it live, but the first replay I watched, I seen it, and the commentators were still carrying on, like, "Oh, what a game! What a try!" And you could see what's the winger's name? It would he's, have been Arthur's. Or... Nah, he scored. Pedro's oh, Dean Mariner. Yeah, Dean Mariner. Mariner. Yeah, it was Mariner. He threw his arms up in the air like Mitchell Moses, but he had yeah. every right. Yeah. And yeah, I, I looked again, and I'm like, "Fuck yes, <clears> he's <throat> grabbed his jersey." Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I saw 26 all. Because I was out uh, drinking, so I wasn't paying 100% attention to the game. Oh. And I saw 26 Your own all. team. I know. I watched yeah. as much as I could. I watched most of the first half. 26 all, and I went, fuck me. And then quickly tuned into KO literally as that play happened. We've sort of gotten a bit off track here, but I have to mention it. I thought, with five minutes to go, I thought Pedro wasn't going to get his bet because we were th- we were more than 12 in front. Yeah. And then four minutes later, I thought he wasn't going to get it because we'd lost. Yeah. <laughs> I was Mixed fucking what a roller coaster. insane. Literally. <clears throat> but Pompey's one, but I think we've got another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got another one. It's the whole fucking town of Napier. <laughs> Twelve streakers. Twelve streakers. Just relax. Yeah. You can go fucking run around in a footy field anytime you want. Like, oh, I understand. Oh, it's funny. Look at him go. But another 11 times after one bloke does it, it gets old. Yeah. I reckon there just mustn't be much to do there. They yeah. started booing at the end. The Maybe. crowd booed for a streaker. Wow. That's yeah. how fucking over it everyone was. I reckon, um, I reckon players should be allowed to just fucking fold one Well, if they wanted to. I think you'd almost, if they ran straight at you, you'd get away with, like doing something exactly. Yeah. Because you're not Roy like, no, did it. No one stopped yeah. Roy. Yeah, but this is fucking. Over <laughs> yeah, death. that's that's when everyone was yeah, non woke. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is when uh, everyone, before everyone woke up. Well, the this seckies is, when you when see we this... had boys and girls <laughs> and cocks and vaginas that <laughs> define them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the seckies are fucking allowed to do it. And it's awesome. Yeah, exactly. Even but, nah, but I mean, if a play, if a player chases down the streaker, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, like they just slick <laughs> onto him, <laughs> and they just <laughs> maul him, and he breaks his arm, then they're fucked. Surround him like a yeah. pinball. But if they are running straight at the player, they're allowed to defend themselves. Sure. Yeah. Oh, fucking surely. Let's I would a, love to see that. Yeah. Just again, folded. I'd love yeah. to see it. Nothing will ever beat Roy. Nah. But that was, especially in the game of cricket too, like a <laughs> yeah. non-contact thing, Roy yeah. just fucking drink. And he but was yeah. proper nude too. That yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. There's just a, um, it's funny when he gets the shot put on him because they have the blurred <laughs> rectangle <laughs> where he cock swings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucking he had good. The, he had the shape of like an old school winger too, that mm. bloke. Who he did, right. the Scotty Minto build. <laughs> yeah, Not Scotty that I know what Scotty vibes. looks like naked. <laughs> Scotty's fucking Huge now. Have yeah, he seen? is a monster. Oh. Probably got a sword on him like so, a baby's <laughs> arm holding an apple. Oh, he would. He would. <laughs> He's the fucking Reggie's winger, mate. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Oh. 
So are right. we going with the whole town or are we going with <laughs> Pompey? Oh, yeah, you, you know my vote. I'm going the whole fucking town. That was you're going Not the whole town, but made just 12 of them. I just think, yeah, that's oh, a great let's shit. Just the whole town. town yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that right. has got to be the longest segment of standard squeeze we've ever had. Yeah. And I love it. Oh, Easily, that was great. Squeeze of the week. So that, the, the, whole, whole the whole town should buy one, motherfuckers, yeah. and use the code word Reggie15. <laughs> yeah. For 15%. Put your fucking it. clothes on. Yeah. It's cold, you cunts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there was a they, the uh, Fox, was I watching it on Fox? Must have been, yeah. They like went to this bloke in the crowd, mm. and it was like he'd seen himself on the screen, but he hadn't actually. And he's just gone, he's put the finger up and just gone, fuck off. Get off the fucking field, like talking to the streakers. Oh, yeah, and I'm just yeah. like, yeah, it's enormous, mate. Yeah, Everyone was mate. over it, man, because it, it was like shit, yeah. every and two minutes they were stopping because there was someone on the field. But do you know what would piss them off the most too? They're probably thinking, there goes any chance of ever getting Ex- another yeah. game here. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. anyway. Get that Indian in. Napier. <laughs> 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 Squeeze of the weeks. All is. Mm. Bunch of squeezers. Right, uh, let's get into the uh, bit of origin. The origin mm. took us a Special. while to get there. Now, we're recording this Monday night, and it's come out today. Latrell Mitchell is out. Yes. Not Huge. Playing. Huge news. Um, to me, it has, but to me, it doesn't change the odds in our favour. It makes it worse because now Crichton and Toto were playing on edge, and they are the best defensive edge in the game. Yes, I agree. Attacking wise, it benefits us, but mm. Crichton's no slouch in attack. No. And him and Toto, if he plays on that side, he will. They're the best defensive edge in the game, I reckon. Mm. Yeah, like if they don't lose much, they mm. definitely don't gain anything by Latrell being out at all. No, yeah. but defensively, they don't lose. So, I mean, no, it's not a no it's, way. It's not a spinal position. It's not a fullback or one of your halves, or your hooker, yeah. where it's like you can fucking yes. Latrell Mitchell, I don't think he's replaceable, but I do think the center position yeah. is, and got, especially exactly, defensively. I yeah, think it was someone huge, coming in like Crichton. I think it was a huge carry on from all the betting agencies and shit. How much they changed the odds because one center mate, is out. This is playing into their hands. Perfect. Now they have excuses. Mm. It's They've like, always got a fucking I, excuse. I saw there was an article that said Mitchell's out for Origin One. This is the headline: Mitchell out. Cleary has an infected tooth. Oh, how's Hines that? on standby. And I'm just like, fuck off, you, you know, weak ass. If they don't oi, tackle with your teeth, oi, do I'll you? tell you what, if there's ev- have you ever been to the dentist? <laughs> they needle it and you can't feel it. Yeah. So players, if there's anything oh. that you could ever needle literally well, it'd be a tooth. Needle ribs and they go out and play. You can fucking needle a tooth. Fucking pull it out. I'd <laughs> love to um, hear him. Chirping out on the field with a, a numb mouth. Just a sad <laughs> yeah, mouth. Just half of it just sagging. <laughs> hey, fucking. <laughs> oi, oi, the centre and winger pairing. Now, Jase, you nailed this the other day where we were sitting there <laughs> yeah. and we're going. Oh, yeah. So the two boys this from Penrith, you know, Stephen and um, Brian. Yeah. So And we're going a couple of Islander lads. Samoans. Samoans. The last names that you would pick. <laughs> For those two would be Steve and Brian. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you think Steve. Yeah. Imagine that. You're like, yeah, boys, we've got a couple of Samoan boys coming to play for us this year. <laughs> Steve and Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Your yeah. brain straight goes to like a 50-year-old fucking white bloke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's fucking, uh, yeah, it was, it was a pretty funny observation that you made, mate. But I, now I just... they're running the duo in the fucking origin. Yeah. Steve, They've done yeah. it before, haven't they? They have. Yeah. Mm. I think... Um, yeah, they could. They couldn't play. They would never play Campbell Graham, would they? Because he played on the weekend. Yeah, yeah I don't know. So. Like, just fucking I call him. So. Can you even do that? Nah, you're in the squad. Nah, you're dropped. Oh no, you're back in. <laughs> Imagine that. Nah. Like, that'd be a fucking piss. I don't take. think so. Yeah, but I don't think you. I don't think there's any rule saying you can't. But I wouldn't like. The, there's a reason that they don't let him play that weekend. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They want him fresh. fresh. Yeah. So I um yeah I I just reckon. For me, a little bit, it takes that X factor out of fucking nowhere. Like, I know Crichton pulls off a couple of good intercepts. He's a great player. Yeah. 
But Latrell just has that fucking oh, X factor. Yeah. Like it could be ten out from their own line, and he could just do something. He's yeah. a game changer for so, sure. So it's a big <clears throat> and a like, big game player. Too. And trust me, I'm not seeing that going. Yes, I would rather beat New South Wales Full with strength. Latrell in there. All teeth non-infected. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> All good teeth. <laughs> fucking not one infection. Fucking just throwing out excuses. It's typical. They go pump us. For our selections, or not usually, but they'll mm. give it to us. We're f- the New South Wales are favourites all the time, and then there's always the excuses that did roll they, out before. Yeah. Didn't Munster say game. something about his ribs though? Too, he said something yeah. about his ribs. Or no, some shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did not. But you know <laughs> what? Who gives a fuck? But Whatever, how often do I we don't... fucking have players imagine injuries Mate, and they don't find out after the game? Weak. I don't fucking listen <clears> to <throat> any of this shit. Leading up to it, apart from when they say Luttrell is out, yeah, I fucking didn't even confirmed. believe that, man. Yeah, I checked that it was Fox, and I went, right, oh, it's a legitimate story. Mm. But then I went, nah, he's playing. Fitler's doing this on purpose. Like yep. I just, yeah, I don't mind. If they said in doubt, that's when I go. Yeah, Do you know whatever? Yeah. It's origin. Well, Haas has obviously come up. Yeah, he's like, good. He's going to play. Yeah, yeah, otherwise, I was hoping when they said he done his ankle, I'm like, this is going to be a perfect one week. Injury. Yeah, <laughs> bit just like rest Luttrell. up Wednesday, but then come yeah. back Saturday. Yeah, he wouldn't have done that, but it would have just been. Oh, he might have. But yeah, I just thought this is fucking going great. Yeah. Half <laughs> ankle. Anyway, he's going to play. Hopefully, he's a little bit underdone. Mm. Yeah, or man. If not Haas too much though. If <laughs> Payne Haas didn't play because of an ankle, I would have found old footage of. Remember when fucking Cronk. Played and his ankle was literally fucking the size of a footy and it was purple all down the outside. Yeah. They got a photo of it and it was, he was in the sheds and it was getting strapped and stuff and it was proper purple, man, and he fucking played. Almost yeah. maroon. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Do you know why? Because he gets it. Yeah. It does. was fucking that colour right beside your scone. You make mm. that fucking sacrifice for the pain for a couple of days after. To put yeah. on the fucking. Well, it w- I don't think you state. would have been in pain at the time because they would have. That's seventy-two needles in, yeah. in there. Yeah. But afterwards, fuck. Oh, imagine waking up the next day. <laughs> fuck that. Do you know what? Do you know what shits me on Origin Day? Look, like, only on Origin Day. On Wednesday, in Queensland, in the heartland of Queensland, seeing a fuckwit dressed <laughs> yeah. in a blues jersey walking oh, around yeah. like he should be. Literally, I feel lie. like approaching them and saying, "Are you lost, cunt?" <laughs> And even when they lip off, eh, like carry on, it's like, <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing, man? Do you reckon Axton Street as well? I, I mm. honestly think we should have a tax. Like we tax everything. In Queensland, mm. we should have a grub tax <laughs> where we tax any fucker wearing blue on that one day. That's not a bad idea. Seem to be everywhere. In Queensland. Fucking Just everywhere. put in a word to Anastasia yeah. Palaszczuk, see what she reckons. Oh, yeah, so, should be awesome. should and get, and you do what you want down there. Because I fucking won't be there. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's just, oh yeah, it's, it's funny though. Like that day, it's actually a hatred. Yeah. Like I, I, that's why I don't normally go to like public event, events and shit for it and that because I'm very passionate. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Especially when you actually, see one steaming around the next I think day I after get, a win. So <clears throat> I don't mind being, obviously this is going to sound dumb, but <laughs> being out in public when we win is or, is good. Mm. But... Only because when we're out in public, I don't care about blokes giving me shit mm. that are New South Wales supporters. I love it. Yeah. But I get so aggressive and angry <laughs> when we're losing. Yeah. And, you get and I'm, shit. I'm so, like, I'm wild. I'm just, yeah, yeah I fucking hate it. If so. we do a live show for any of these games, I'm going to need a fucking, like a yoga mat and some incense burners beside me to calm <laughs> the fuck down. I might just have to get yeah. wrecked as fuck. Yeah, yeah well, nah, that's make what makes you... it worse. Yeah, exactly. When I'm on the piss and then I'm like, anything oh, that stoned. happens, I'm just like, <laughs> fucking. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, on the oh, really? CBD oil. Yeah. Yeah. On the Winnie Green. <laughs> <laughs> the vegan cigarette. That's right. <laughs> nice. Oh, but yeah, anyway, it's it's the feeling. That's why it makes a game so good. Yeah, exactly. Because people, yeah. they'd have the supporters that have the same feeling as us. They'd be listening to us saying, fuck you, two yeah. headed guns. As long as we don't. No one makes it like a big fucking physical altercation oh, type yeah. of hatred. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think we've got that perfect amount 
like that nice niche where yeah, we yeah. just fucking hate them. Yeah. And what we've happens? got that culture where we can we just abuse each other anyway. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's, <laughs> it's like the normal. it's like the brotherly sort of thing, right? Like your siblings, you're fucking blue all the time, but at the end of the day, you're both going for the same cause. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, what happens on the field usually stays in the field. Like, even yeah. as a fan. Like you fucking talk about during mm. Origin time, but they're still like I got a handful of mates who are blue supporters. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah. you don't fucking hate them just because they <laughs> pash their dad yeah, doesn't exactly. mean that they're bad blokes. Wait, it's okay. It's twenty twenty three. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's just the big spike in fucking um, uh, what's it called? Pauper ointment mm. at this time of year in New South yeah. Wales for the pash rash. That's and what fucking the um, and oil based lubricants. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but oi, before we get like go through the sort of team list and what we reckon, um, I saw a post last week from a reliable source too. It was on Instagram, one of the might have been NRL, but saying that they still needed about eleven thousand or something to sell out yeah, at Adelaide. Yeah, I was about to mention this, and I just fucking if it doesn't sell out and it's an underwhelming crowd, and that surely the conversation needs to start happening where it's like, what are we doing about the neutral venue, and Unless it is at a place where we know it goes well, because it really pisses me off that we're wasting a mm. spectacle like that and putting it somewhere where it's not appreciated. I hate that it's the more I think about it, I hate the neutral venue. I think I hate it, it. The, me too. like MCG Melbourne, they could sell, they've sold out a hundred thousand. Yeah, but they there, just but, love sport now. Yeah, there. but so does Perth as well, like Perth and Melbourne yeah. work, Adelaide. The only other time we played at Adelaide was during COVID, so it wasn't a sellout as well. So this will really show you if Adelaide but can I just, fucking turn it up. I feel like we need to actually do the homework here and almost go to a neutral venue game next year and then go to a Queensland one and go right. Yeah, really because, feel the difference Because the like if, if the atmosphere isn't even the same at New South Wales and it is in Queensland, what the fuck's it going to be like in Adelaide? I was actually going to say, ask you this just now, would you go... To a game at ANZ or wherever, or Sydney Football Stadium. Oh uh, <laughs> nah, I no. Nah. I couldn't I, do it. Nah, it's 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 the about that I I love having everyone around me that's the same passion yeah, yeah, as yeah, me yeah. and shit. Yeah. I just hate to be around all those fucking. If losers. someone <laughs> fucking walked up to me and said, "Oi, oh. here you go, come to ANZ." But like, I mean, oh, I call just... whatever it's called now, Homebush. I'm just gonna call it Homebush because the fucking sponsor changes. Mm. I would go. But I'm not going to willingly make the decision to choose if yeah. I could go, like, I'd go to the G or fucking If it was a thing for content and we I'd were like, right, push. we're going to go mm. and compare the experiences. We're going to yeah. document it, rah, rah, yeah. But I've just given cunts wearing a blue shirt here shit. Yeah, but we know. just said it doesn't get physical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. But I, I mean, um, if it was just a general me as an experience going, definitely not. But yeah. if it was a thing where I was going to compare it, well, I was yeah. like, right, I have I'm, to sit in the group where oh, Queensland runs, like in the, the away fans, section. Yeah, the away oh, section that's yeah. dedicated. You're I not wouldn't putting me in the sea of blue. I wouldn't sit with Batchy's <clears throat> blues. Yeah, <laughs> that's for Fuck. sure. But um, no, no, nah, I just think it's a. We'll see how it goes, but yeah, I'm with you, Grave. I remember, it. I remember growing up, and it was always two at yeah. Queensland, one New South Wales, and the opposite the next year. Yeah. Makes it fair. They used if to people, do Melbourne something like '95. They played at the G, didn't they? They did '06. That that yeah, moment's that, coming up at a bit Docklands at mm. Telstra Stadium. Yeah, but I just think it's, and I don't think anything was taken away from that game. As we'll get, we'll we'll talk about that a bit. No, nah, it wasn't. But it's I just know like what you mean. We Obviously, the, you wanted to be the fucking home, but like I'm not fully against the idea of a neutral venue when you can sell out the MCG. But I like. Yeah, I would yeah, but Queensland, have... New South Wales. Yeah, like if yeah. you they're want trying to, to expand. Talking come. about the, ap- you're talking about the atmosphere though. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you well, want that's... fifty thousand Queenslanders, and you want or oh, that many New South Wales, yeah. like, thirty-eight thousand New South Wales yeah. Yeah. in an eighty thousand stadium, you know? and fifteen thousand lost cunts that got given a ticket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> you but you know? want that. Uh, even I'm sure Queensland. Obviously, they'd prefer to play at Suncorp, do mm, but yeah. I'm sure they fucking love. Or like thrive the opportunity to go there in front of eighty thousand and fucking win. So here's exactly. coming from a totally one-eyed biased Queensland cunt, right? Is it because we have such a better advantage at Suncorp, and the dad kisses are like, "Oh, well, we don't want to do that every second year. Play I'll two play games two there, there. <laughs> because like we don't really give a fuck playing there." But <laughs> the cauldron is just you just will never have the same thing. 
and it hurts you. Yeah. And it's true. And I, it's like as much as we're giving <laughs> shit to the fans that they don't get it and blah, blah, blah. But the actual design of Homebush and how far it's like spread back from the field, it's, it was made for the fucking Olympics. Yeah. It's not made for rugby league. It's I honestly like, rate um, Don't they play at the SFS? Is it? No. Nah. No? They, they no, play no. at they played at Homebush since like, 2000, be, since the Olympics in Sydney. Wouldn't it like that? How many does um, the Paris Stadium fit in it? Like 40-odd, does it? Uh, but, yeah, Combank. 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 That'd sorry. be good, Combank. Because, like, so. I just think, as well as it's the Queensland crowd, that stadium is just rugby league. Like, that is Yeah, fucking, it is nice. You know, it's a bit small. Yeah. So, Maybe if it was oh, I was 50. talking about Suncorp, sorry. Yeah. Like, Suncorp, the way Suncorp is, oh. it's because it's Queensland and it's because of how it's built. Oh, fucking, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so yeah. if they had a similar thing. That rebuild they did was fucking unreal. Mm. Yeah, Channel Suncorp. Lang Park into Suncorp. Uh, yeah, best best I just think it's a, it's definitely a controversial thing, and they really need to fill out a stadium because it's fucking such a shame if they don't to see such a good game like yeah. that wasted in an area that's not appreciated. That's They're all probably my all is. fucking sported out. They can't. They, they just had, had the gather around. Gather. They had live golf. Yeah, and then now this. Yeah, just getting spoiled. But anyway, I hope it turns out well, and I'm proven yeah, wrong. We want but, it to be fucking yeah. good. We don't want it to suck. Yeah. Mm. But um, anyway, that was my little thing on Get it back to Adelaide. Two, two and one. I agree. We should do a little poll just to see where what everyone's yeah. thoughts are yeah. on today. Sign a petition. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and we'll send it in. Well, now we've talked a fair bit about the fucking dirty ass blues, <laughs> and we haven't spoken fuck all about our side. So, yeah, we've just yeah, been well, hanging shit on them. I was just going to get the old teams up here, and we'll fucking have a bit of a bit of a look, eh? Yeah. Well, I've got a bit of a not a theory. Mm. This is what I'll do. Hopefully, they do it. I still think that they're not going to start with Fafita for some reason. I just really don't think that they're going to. I think they're going to bring him off the bench. Imagine bringing on Harry Grant and David Fafita at the same time. Mm. Yeah, but Fuck. you could. Fucking say that I understand your logic, and I've kind of thought that sometimes too. But you could say that about any good player. Imagine bringing fucking Cameron Munster off the bench in a good time, like a hard time. Like any player is going to thrive more when the if you're coming on fresh. Yeah, I just yeah, I don't know. Cameron way, Munster probably not a great example. I know. I just mean he's in like an absolute gun coming yeah, off the yeah. bench. The way like, that's that, why we use Harry Grant though. Harry Grant is a better number nine than Ben Hunt. But Ben yeah. Hunt steps up at Origin, Harry Grant comes off for that impact, and it works every fucking time. So yeah. you're saying, would you put, do you think they might go Arrow to start? That's the only option. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. yeah, like, that's, otherwise, yeah, because really. yeah. we've got Arrow, he's been playing um, fucking eight all year. Mm. <laughs> and then you've got um, Cotter, who swaps between lock and front row. Has yeah. Gilbert been playing lock for the Dolphins yep, all year? Too? He, has. he has. But he did play second row in Origin last year, and he was second row for Cowboys. He's not entirely out of position. He is this year, though. Yeah. Positive, but though. That we are. But we I don't are. think he's going to forget how to play second row after are? one year. No. Tommy Flegler, look at it. Yeah, he's. I fucking, honestly, I, I reckon he's going to stand up. He is going to thrive yeah, in I this also arena. Would All I can be... say is he'd fucking want to. <laughs> yeah. oh. I wouldn't be shocked if you see the 15 out there to start the game. Tino. Uh, Tino, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I would not be sad. Whether it's Tino or Flegler, I think our forward pack is going to stand up huge. Yeah. I fucking hope so. But I, I, I have full faith in them, though. Like, I yeah. I just – it'll be good to see if yeah. they do, you know, if they do. Because um, do you think – do you think quickly with the old dad kisses, um, do you think Tavita will actually start? I was just about to say that. I reckon – I wouldn't be shocked if Haas and um, Paulo. I don't know why Paulo Paolo. isn't starting. I don't know why fucking Pangai's in the squad. I reckon see, he I wasn't was, even yeah. a, I was listening to mind, um, man. Bloke in a Bar and Hello Sport, their, their podcast, man, and they were sort of saying how it's probably a play on Tavita. That's all the hype. Wow, Tavita's picked. He's starting, rah, rah, rah. Yeah. And it probably gets the chat and everything about that. And mm-hmm. then on the game, they change it and all yeah. of it's just wasted energy. I yeah. think... Honestly, I think Tavita will play the first 20 and Paulo will play more minutes off the bench. If, if, they, if they stay the way it is and Tavita is 8 and Paulo's 14, Tavita will play the first 20 and I reckon Paulo will come on and play most of the game. Tavita's mm. there just to – that mongrel he's got and yeah. just come in and take a sting out is what he'll do. He can't – He I don't can't know. play massive minutes either. You he'll see, have to come back on, but if he only plays 20. 
Yeah, I'll Paulo can't he'll, play 60, yeah, I don't think. Paulo will play more than Tevita will, I yeah. reckon, though. And Tevita's lazy around the ball. Like, when you're playing Origin, like, you see Tevita in club level, he's walking back in defence, he's fucking lazy off the ball. Mm. I think you can't have this something like that in Origin. This is good It'll news. get capitalised instantly. Do you think Cameron Murray just comes on for a straight swap for Yo? Or do you think he gives a second row or a rest? Second rows, I reckon. You reckon? Oh, I don't know. How are you going to use Murray, eh? Yeah, I know. I, well, he plays, played second row there before, but yeah, those but two just... blokes don't need a rest. No. I don't know. Murray he... can play lock, yeah, but Yo can play massive minutes. Why would minutes. you take him off, yeah? Exactly. He can play massive minutes. It's, yeah, unless someone gets injured. Like, I don't see Murray playing many minutes. And they're, they're probably going to have to use... Um, Liam Martin as another front rower. Yeah. He'll have to come on. Well, Payne Haas is, yeah, that's what I mean. Worst case scenario, they'll have someone out of position for 10 minutes in front row. Well, I Payne Haas can play a whole fucking game if he needs to. He'll play 65, I reckon. <clears throat> that's my prediction. I reckon he'll yeah. play the whole first 40, and then they'll give him like an extended um, half time, and then he'll come back on for the last 25. Yeah. yeah. And you reckon with Queensland boys, you reckon Paddy Carrigan? So obviously. Um, Collins and Flegler will get swapped out with Tino and Ruben will be up front. Or Jai. Or Jai. You reckon Jai? Well, the thing. They're on the... Well, literally all three of those forwards are front rolls and locks. I yeah. reckon... Arrow, um, Tino and Cotter can all all have played front row and lock. I reckon Paddy <clears> will, will have a break. Yeah, oh, I, I think so. He'll, he'll have some... I they'll think we'd they'll be better use that off, whole bench. I think we'd be better off if he got a break. Yeah. Because yeah. what they've done before is Ben Hunt can... Move into lock and Harry Grant can come on and hooker. They've yeah. done that a few times and yep. just have Ben Hunt as that third like ball player mm. and have because he's solid in defence. What do we do with Gilbert and <clears throat> Fafita? Surely Gilbert's going to have to come off. Yeah, that's there's no way row, though. There's no way he can play a whole game. I reckon he could at second row. Jai Arrow is literally the only one on that bench that. Mm. Like has played majority second row over those two. Yeah, yeah, he's more of a. I'd I'd call him probably more of a second rower this year, wouldn't he? Yeah, Arrow. Yeah. Hasn't he been playing second row? He's been row? playing prop, has he? Yeah, he Shows can play. He's he had the yeah. eight on. Yeah, right. <laughs> and he's a small forward too, but he's still fucking yeah. in. He Jairo is one of those players that you've seen in Origin, and you just go, he fucking he knows what he Quinn's gets it. Yeah. He fucking he gets fucking it. gets it, and that's why he's I been love picked. It. Now, do, so does that mean, like, obviously <clears throat> Stephen Crichton's going to come in for the trell. Yeah. Uh, 19 was Stefano Oitakamanu. Yeah, Does he Tigers. stay at 18th man, do you think? Or do they bring in a oh. bloke who's more versatile? I don't know. That's they a good question. Because they, got Nico, they, because they got Nico there, they probably will just have Stefano. Yeah. Mm. I think that's why you have him. Mm. As the, oh, yeah, because they're a replacement, aren't they? Yeah. For if there's... Bulk head knocks. Like yeah, exactly. like there yeah. was in fucking. Yeah, last like if there's two, game. like if there's two, um, swinging arms that yeah. just stiff knock people out. He comes on too. Yeah, yeah. fuck. Uh, Which is even though I'm positive and he'll nail it, I, I just really don't understand Dearden being our 18th man with the lineup we have. I, I just. Who did you say you don't? Oh, you, well. Okay. Oh, well <clears throat> yeah. Tom's you theory was you got Reece Hunt Walsh. at hooker. We put Ponga there at least. Yeah. You got Hunt at hooker who can go to six or seven if one of them go down. And then Harry Grant comes on and plays nine. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, why? It's like is... ha- he, Dearden's not going to go into centre. Nah. Or fullback. I just, exactly. I just. Silly. Yeah. Anyway. Don't know. That's why Kurt Capewell was good because he was that. The like, fill in he, he could go to. He honestly yeah. could fucking go play in the wing if he needed to during Origin. Not that he would mm. be outstanding, but he would have done well, his I think job. Yeah, I just um, I just lo- what I'd love is to sit down with Billy and literally just say I'd be genuinely interested to see where his brain was to pick to pick the things he did because he'd yeah. probably have reasons that you go oh yeah but and he wouldn't tell us be, fuck all yeah <laughs> it wouldn't just be him though either like it's he'd have yeah, JT right. Cam Smith all those boys helping pick mm. and that's why it's like a collective yeah. I trust just the a heap fucking, of cunts that get it pretty much so yeah, we just got to trust that I'm going to trust it's going to be a team that won eight series in a row and you're at least going to sit there and watch what happens before you throw any sort of fucking yeah. proper lip out exactly. that's right we're just we're just voicing our uh, opinions w- well what that's we what we're here to do on. literally <laughs> well, that's why like, you listen to us <laughs> yeah. uh, now one selection that we've got to talk about mm. the most controversial one of the lot the referee, Ashley oh. Klein. 
At least it's not me reffing. That's all I can fucking say. Well, you were never a shout, but that couldn't have gone worse. I fucking... How does he get it? I, Every time. It, it honestly baffles me. Fucking why? Why? It's not... This isn't saying as a Queenslander, oh, he's going to rob us. This is... This fucker has been the centre of attention in so many games. Why do we have to pick him? Mm. I didn't think, like, when Sutton used to do the refing, I didn't think he did enough to fucking lose his job as main ref in Origin. Like, when, he, I noticed Klein more for his fuck ups than I did Sutton. When you say the words like Jared Sutton, I do know what he looks like, mm. but yeah. it takes me a bit. When you say Ashley Klein, oh, I know exactly what that I cunt could paint like. the cunt blindfolded. <laughs> Because there's two, the camera's always fucking on him for his That's calls. That's what I mean. Shit yeah. Calls. Other you, referees, like, I obviously know what Todd Smith looks like as well. <laughs> yeah, he's but sitting on your next couch. <laughs> yeah. Here he is. Here he is. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's just like in my brain, I just see his fucking head with the piece of Devon on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If you know exactly what a ref looks like and their name, then they are not the best ref. Mm. That is exactly how to th- if you've got oh mate's ref in the origin, you go, Oh, I've never heard of him. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That anyway, is good. I hope we throw fucking three forward passes and he misses them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it swings our way for game one. Yeah. yeah. But I think we speak on behalf of just the whole dad kisses and us is that that is just yeah. shit. We don't want Klein there. <laughs> Fuck no. hell. That what you want what yeah. we want to see is it fucking hurts me to say this, but whoever wins, I hope it goes more than one way more than the other, but you want it to be they won because they played the footy better. Yeah. Not because rather, of some dog call or whatever. You what, know I what I would mean? rather, like, do you know how you get into that arm wrestle and the thing that wins them the arm wrestle is an unforced error, like a drop ball yeah. or a big shot that make them yeah. drop it, yeah. not a penalty yeah. to fucking... Fuck like a 50-50 you know? How yeah. much better is that when it's an arm wrestle and one team out of fatigue or whatever yeah. drops it or fucks up and you go, they just earned that field position. Fuck that yeah. is so much better than fucking some piggyback penalty. A yeah. cheap penalty for laying there for a split second too long or yeah. whatever. When it's and, like, really, yeah. was that so different to yeah. what else has been happening? Like, oh, can, I've got to reiterate as well, hard as fuck job on oh, the biggest yeah, platform there is. is, however. Especially around origin time. I would. Yeah. I yeah. hope that, so when you, you know, when they give a penalty and then you go, right, oh, we should get a square up penalty here if they do something wrong. Yeah. I hope there's just... He lets that go. He lets that go. He lets that go and just lets it all fucking go. And then when there's just a big steamer on the chin, you go penalty. They yeah, tend to right. let shit go, let shit slide a lot I more think you are, you, anyway. You are allowed to lay there just that little bit longer. Yeah. Because it's so fucking fast anyway. It is such a quick game. Origin is like a NRL is a different breed above any other level of footy, and then Origin it's, is another It really is a different up, game. Like you can't ref it the exact same as NRL. Nah, no, it's you a can't. different fucking It is a different it almost is a different fucking Sport. Do, I and wonder. It's so is much it, more intense, and the crowd can sway their decisions so yeah. fucking easily. What's your as well? thoughts on there being a different set of rules? Like not not a big different, like not the like score a try over this line, but like as in, <laughs> but I mean, like no six to go or something. Yeah, like, no like set just restart. maybe simpl- again restart, simplifying yeah. it like a bit or fucking. You I know. don't know. I feel like then it just gets too fucking confusing. Or how about this one? Ashley Klein can't ref. That's fucking. <laughs> yeah. Another petition will get yeah. going. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll get on to that too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know, boys. I, I'm i pumped as per usual. I'm very excited to see what this team does. Um, obviously, we're in the trenches, backs against the wall like it always like is. Like, love. like where we fucking want to be. There's heaps of, um, let's just say, New South Welshmen with a voice. That are just trouting, mm. which just falls into it. And we'll light. trout right fucking back every time. Um, but it just it just suits us well, and um, I'm fucking pumped. Same. Yeah. Should we do like a favourite origin moment? Over. Yeah, I think that's a good shout. Yeah. Right. Eh? Over time. Fucking, I've got heaps. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> it's hard. To, it's hard that... for me to pick um, off the top of my head like a year because so it all just funnels into like like eight years in a row is hard to keep on track. Yeah, you know, it's fucking, fucking it all just happens. Yeah, but <laughs> we'll definitely have some honourable mentions that we'll talk about. <laughs> what and... are we just got to pick one? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> fucking hell, we got too many. Should we do one each. Yeah, one each. Yeah, yeah. go on. Right, I'll kick it off. Um, 
I know I was just, so I'm born in 03, if you don't know. This is not really a fucking memory of mine, but I've there's a thing called YouTube and the news and that. So you Getting can all the yeah, yeah. Before cunts jump. Who knows at what's me. coming? Like yeah, eight mile vibes. People, yeah, people jump me and they're like, oh well Jace is fucking five years old. <laughs> So You would have been three, actually. Yep. I would have been three years old when this happened. Probably with a big shit in his nappy. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have been wearing a fucking maroon nappy. Yeah. And you would have had a whistle in your mouth getting ready for your fucking career in referee. Uh, all right. Anyway, go, mate. I'll get to the point of what I'm, the actual fucking game. The so moment. My moment is 2006 game three, the Lockyer intercept at Docklands. Yes. Just... Who threw that uh, pass? Hodgson. Lassoed by Talis. The only thing that kind of remember for is getting lassoed by Talis and throwing one of the worst spiral passes at oh. a hooker I've ever seen. What that, a what a just quickly what a poor bloke too because he had a great career. He <laughs> did and gets remembered. But if you for ask that. me to remember anything else, I can't. That's it, eh? Yeah. Uh, that right. was he was the old school. Fucking two sticks out the bottom of the footy yeah. shorts style of <laughs> a fullback. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. right. Oh, these are real Reggie fullback. Yeah, fucking <laughs> oh. Actually, he's, he's probably, probably been stiffed. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's probably been steaming around, yeah. listening, and thinking, where the fuck was me shout? <laughs> He hasn't got off the bottle uh, since. Ben Cousins. <laughs> fuck Ben Cousins. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. was too fit. Yeah. But another big thing for the two, just the context of the game that. 2006 series was the start of the dynasty as well. Just oh, to, just start to make of the it, eight straight. Yeah, just makes it even better. So that's mine. And we were fucking robbed. We were going to be robbed in that game. If we that were down happen. and out. Two it quick was tries. It 14 4 to them. And one of their tries, this was when they had this dumb rule of if it hits you on the shoulder, it didn't count as like a knock on. Yeah. And they've put a bomb up and Hodgson's gone through to take it and it's hit him. On the bicep and shoulder, and they said it wasn't a knock-on. Yeah. Give him a try. It I was think fucked. I remember just blowing that up game as a kid. <laughs> out of any rugby league game I've watched on replay. Is pro- that's probably the fucking most I've watched on yeah. like replaying. That They're would have been the one of the. Minis. That would have been yeah. one of the games where, as a kid, I would have went, like cracked the shits <laughs> and went to bed, and Dad would have said, "Mate." Fucking yeah, stay exactly. and watch, and then it happens, you know. Honorable mention to Brent Tate in that game because yeah. his try was fucking unreal. Oh, phenomenal, man. Big Tater running around under the posts and just slammed it down. <laughs> Boy, he's on par with me, like, um, with blokes who step up at Origin just to get oh, it done. Like, yeah. fuck the yeah. Tate with that fucking neck brace <laughs> and the chin. You think Cleary's the chin, Tate's the yeah. fucking chin. He's the OG chin. He's the OG <laughs> yeah. chin. Fucking now, that knows. bloke, I couldn't give a fuck what name was marking up against him. I would have picked Tate on yeah. the wing. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Every time. <laughs> fucking oath. Tatey. That was prime. That was back when we didn't really have a lot to go with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> had to pick Tatey. Yeah, that's right. G-I, that was GI's first series. Yep. Mm. 06. It was fucking awesome. Great moment. Yeah, great. Great, great fucking... one to kick it off. Oh, fucking exactly. Home. Yeah, yeah well, look. There's uh like we've talked about, there's so many to pick from. It's hard to fucking beat that. That that was excellent. But for me, it's this one sticks in the dome. It's at the front of the dome. And all I remember is it's the worst team in forty years. Oh. And just yeah. hearing all that hype, like, look, was it the best team on paper? No. No, it wasn't. Was Did we the, win? Was this twenty twenty or twenty one? Twenty twenty. 21, we the lost. The COVID year. Yep, COVID yeah. year. Where they played all of them all three, after the season. Yeah, three weeks in, in November. Row, in yeah. November. Yeah. Just and consecutive origin. It was like and a fucking festival. Like, just it. fucking... Fuck, oh, yeah. Cherry holding it up, saying, here's the yeah. four, th- worst team in oh, 40 yeah. years, and just yeah. holding it up. <laughs> just, that was the fucking best feeling of eat a dick ever. Oh, it was so good. That just, is probably their best, like, most feel-good series win in yeah. my lifetime just because exactly what you said the worst team ever like if we won that normally it'd be like fuck yeah I think but to like really stand out because we've been so successful yeah. that one they were going was... for three in a row as well yeah mm-hmm. exactly I think I went to bed I was out in the mines I think and I watched it and I went to bed with a fucking massive smile on my yeah. face and I think it stayed there yeah until I woke up. For around a week, I was fucking happiest man on the planet. Walked into work like a McGregor fucking billionaire. <laughs> I stayed. I, was, I remember that was my last day on mm. for the swing. Yeah. And instead of driving home, I stayed. Yeah, I fucking, did the same. Yeah, yeah. That was the next 
the next you know, one of the games on the source. but on the fucking third game it, oh man it was awesome so that's that's like obviously I reckon if I went through them all there'd probably be others but just that's one that yeah. just sticks and goes yeah fucking still oath. feels good and it's still fresh yeah well, I was gonna go with fucking very stiff not to get this the 52-6 win <laughs> in game 3 of 2015 oh yeah when we just absolutely fucking demoralised them 52 <laughs> in a decider as well <laughs> yeah imagine being there for that that'd oh. be unreal weren't you there mate I um I Pretty sure I was at that game. And that's why I said before the show, Jace goes, what do you mean? Pretty sure I'm like, yeah. oh, we've just pumped them so many times. Jace, I don't know. Yeah, it's true. But oh, we were there, me and my cousin Brent were there um, for one of these games where we proper pumped them. And yeah. I don't know if it was that one or it might have been a – there was a couple of others that were like 30-something. to. They were back all. in like the 08, 2010 region. So I'm pretty yeah. sure I'm pretty sure it was that. Because I was there for a 30-6 to six in 08. Yeah, thirty nil in 08 and it was fucking awesome. Well, I was still actually I was still at school, so it would have been before two thousand and eleven. Would have been oh eight or yeah. So it must like have been that. one of those. Yeah. Mm. Um, but one come to me, and it's game two, 2017, Thurston's last game of Origin ever. Oh, he was fucking in doubt to play. Oh, we were yeah. down one nil, and it was in Sydney, and we're down one nil, and his shoulder was fucked, mate. Like, he didn't play another game for the whole season. And he knew we had to win. Gus actually said this narrative really well. He knew we had to win that game. It's in Sydney. We lose, we lose the series. And he fucking literally had his arm hanging down by his side the whole fucking game, or at least the whole second half. And he literally could not fucking lift it. And he kicked the goal with two two minutes to go from the sideline. That kick. And we won, was it? Fucking 18, 16. We won by two. Yeah, yeah. That was and excellent. Two minutes to go. He's kicked it and you just seen him fucking grit his teeth yeah. and like clench his fist. Didn't play the third game. We won the cunt, of That's course. Right. And paved way for Cameron Munster to come through. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We what won the you? third game, but I reckon he, Gus said it, he goes, I reckon Thurston had one more game in him this year. Mm. And he said, it has to be game two. I can't wait for three because we got to win game yeah. two. Yes. And That's with, a good Fucking one up. That is excellent. That isn't is a it? great shout. And do you know like, what's even better after that whole? Do you know what's even better after time. that whole yarn? <laughs> Cleary's in doubt with a sore tooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking what else? I just fucking got goosebumps the oh, whole time. I was fucking saying so that. That is why, in my opinion, Thurston for me is my goat. Just for me. Yeah. Like in someone that, who steps up in those moments. Oh, just yeah. fuck. I love him. Fuck. It was good. It was good. Just just hard you just to knew bloke, he was going to kick it too. Yeah. Poor Fucking old no. Gus is sitting up there in the commentary box going, he just wills them over. <laughs> he just wills them it over. It hurt him. It hurt him. Because <laughs> he was telling a yarn, he goes, Daryl Halligan, I think, one of the great goal kickers, he goes, yep. someone asked him, Gus has just brought this up as Thurston's putting the ball on the tee. He goes, someone asked him, if someone had to kick for your life, who would you do? And he goes, he doesn't strike it the best, and his technique's not the greatest, but he just wills them over the post, and they just go over. Said Thurston, I'd have him. Yeah. <laughs> just set it up for fucking greatness. He, uh, well, he and did. then he did it. Yeah. yeah. Well. Fuck, what a moment. He was, he, I agree. If, was, if you had to pick anyone to kick goals for you, it's got to be Thurston. Mm. Just see exactly that fucking technique, and he, every time, I don't think I've ever seen him kick a ball dead straight. He yeah. curved it every single time. The straightest time. one he ever kicked was the 2015 grand final. Yeah, and exactly. Cut it the post. Straight as Elton. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he's fucking... Fucking oh, I'd so. The moment for me, that's, it's not the greatest moment. It's actually one just makes me so fucking angry. And Kempy was talking about it with Lockie on Bloke Ooh. and Bar podcast the other you day. You mention him? Oh, Lockie. Kempy. Yeah. I thought he said Kenty. No, Kempy. <laughs> Apologies, I'm, Kempy. I'm, I'm say, thinking, uh, oh, I like him. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Kempy. <laughs> they, they, were to, they asked him about what was going through with the, um, in 2009, I think. Yeah. Uh, Trent Waterhouse. And when Pricey, oh. they're going at it and he comes and cleans him up and just seeing oh. all the boys fucking fired up. And yeah. Them standing over Steve Price like that. And I know the Blues fans are going to go, oh, well, what about Jai Arrow with Tedesco in 2020? <laughs> Very fucking fuck. different. Yeah. So different. 
And the way that Dutch has panned out and you see the boys. Hodges. Hodges was ready to go oh, calling him out. Yeah. The boys, the way they like Paul, they talk about Paul Kurt Gidley. They meant to just because oh, the, yeah. they took the they tap and they literally, him. yeah. They said Lockie <laughs> said the plan <laughs> was is... to take a tap and just give him the ball straight away and jam the forwards because yeah. they wanted to go at the forwards and little Kurt got jammed. <laughs> yeah. But oh. just seeing how fired up the boys got for their fucking teammate and that just epitomised it. Like if I'm having a good cruisy day and you want to ruin it and make me fucking angry, you show me that video because that was at Suncorp too and we'd already won the series 2-0 yeah and that was game three Blues beat us yep but with fucking five six minutes to go we could have still won the game and we just went fuck it let's, that, go, yeah. stink. let's go fucking kick the ball to Gidley and fuck just get no. the stink yeah. <laughs> yeah. fuck yeah but is that, that when White is that that that, that was White, White yeah because yeah. like the, White the does thing about it is, yeah oh yeah. mate but if, Waterhouse that's the, that's the thing if Waterhouse yeah. didn't go in that is just a clean knockout from White and it's yeah. the end of the fight what was he doing, man? He oh, just came know. steaming and he full just tackled him too. Yeah. And then I reckon the, that the was worst a clean part, shot. apologies if it wasn't Justin Poor, but I'm pretty sure it was Justin Poor, picked him up by his like jersey. He probably didn't know he was knocked out, but who cares about that? Hmm. He's picked him up and then just dropped him. Like, and then just walked off. And that's what Hodges was blowing up at. Yeah. yeah. That was because they seen it. And, and that's then... what Blues fans laughed about with Jai Arrow and Tedesco. But, but see, Arrow the didn't difference know between that. Not, oh, yeah. is that soon, when? Yeah, as soon as that happened, he straight away put his hand up and was apologetic for yeah. it and had no idea. Because he went to give it to him for dropping the ball. Yeah, like. he didn't say yeah. He, he didn't know he was. Didn't know and he then was once he, yeah, exactly. But that's what New South Wales didn't do that in 2009. They just fucking sort of nah. had to kind of throw in hands. Exactly. That actually was, I remember that now. It was a knee. Because he slipped yep. over and just got Pretty cleaned sure up mm, by a knee yeah. right at the start of the game. And then we won with the worst team ever. Yeah, just yeah. quietly. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. That's Fuck, that was some good moments. Yeah. Fuck, I might hopes. go watch the uh, KO Mini of 2017 game two. And if you're actually go, oh. still listening... <laughs> As a blue supporter, then fucking, fucking good you on must you. be bored. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have hung some serious shit on you. No, episode. but fuck me. They'd be doing the same thing. No, but us. those yeah. moments we just, yeah. I'll, yeah. Imagine, Mate. would you listen to one if they were just rattling off the, fuck no. the two no. and a half moments they got? No. <laughs> no, it would be no. a short podcast. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be remember a mini. When we, remember when we won six four in twenty fourteen and oh, won the series? Woo, the Hayne plane. Woo. <laughs> How's he going? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting Hayne trained. <laughs> the fucking grub, by the way. Toot, toot. Before we start laughing about that, fucking grub. Yeah, fuck you. Hayne. I'm laughing because he's getting pl- trained. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fucking grub. <laughs> That's what you're producing. Talk Grubs. Yep. Right. Oh. Are we wrapping yeah, this up? Should, yeah. <laughs> yep. Queenslander. Up <laughs> fucking <laughs> oath. Come on, the Maroon. Queenslander. Queenslander. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, we're going to do our all in. Yes, we are. The blue bet all in failed last week. You can't um, win them all. Look, I feel ripped off. 33% oh, of the here we go. got it done. Two on the trot without a reward, slaving away for fuck all. That's a – you've fucked that up. <laughs> we won last week. No, I'm two on the trot in me legs. You just said no reward. We won last week. Yeah, so we got a reward for the first week. Remember oh, when we were at no the, reward this week. Remember when we were at the Doom and Cup and mm. we won? Yep. Yeah. I've anyway. got a memory like a sieve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't even remember if he was there, 52 to 6 game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's years ago. I that, know. I've done a lot of yeah between now and then. <laughs> yeah. On a hard yards. Yeah, <laughs> fucking ass. Big days out the morns. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> anyway. Um, but anyway, the blue bet all in. We're gonna do it. It's Monday night. Yeah, it's a so, tough one to fucking pick. <laughs> wow. We're well, going I'm, with... I'm confident though, still. Yeah, oh yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I actually am. But yeah, anyway. Oh, Blue bet all in. I'm going to go first, and I'm going to kick it off with Collingwood are going west. They're going over mm. to uh, to Perth to play West Coast. We know West Coast troubles. They're in big dramas. They're paying a dollar one <laughs> to win Collingwood. Wow. We'll, we'll fucking we'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll spook it up a bit from there. Yeah. Forty plus. Collingwood, you're getting a dollar thirty four or something. I mm. think that's pretty good. That is for the for best team plus. in the comp versus the worst team in the yeah. comp for the moment. Yeah. If it was at the G, I'd hate to see <clears> what forty plus would be paying. One hundred and fifty plus. But yeah, <laughs> simple for me. Collingwood forty plus because I don't want to give you a, 
a horse tip on a on a Wednesday nah, when yeah. this is going to come out on a Wednesday. Mm. So we'll go to the footy. Yep. And uh, Collingwood 40 plus in the AFL for me. Nice. I Good like stuff, that. mate. Let's fucking grab that. Um, so I'm going to go simple one for me. Um, it's a long way out from the NRL thing like like the AFL, but um, Penrith are playing the Red V. Um, obviously, Penrith have got a lot of origin players to like back up, but the Red V have got their most important one who's going to be defending in the middle of state of origin. Mm. So I feel like... Penrith are going to pump the red V. Um, and to sweeten it up a little bit, I'm going to go minus nine and a half. So to win by 10 points, paying $1.39. Hasn't gone well for us before. <laughs> no. The line. However. Penrith I, haven't. However. Well, it's gone right for me. But um, I was going to go just to win, but that was paying about $1.15. Yeah, and it was like, $1.17 what we, on blue, Ben. And like, what are we here for? You know, yeah. so, so <clears throat> make it a bit interesting. Dollar thirty nine. It brings the odds up a little bit, and that's my leg. Yeah, love it. Lovely. Well, I the <laughs> AFL didn't work for me last week for the first week in the All In, but I'm not steering away from it. Mm. Probably to do with the what, what I've got to pick from this week. But <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm sticking with the AFL, and I'm going Demons head to head against Carlton. Carlton coming in only having one. One of their last seven games. Mm. But you're aware, like if you're an AFL fan, you're aware of Carlton's troubles at the moment. Mm. And something's just not right. They should be doing better. But I don't think they're going to improve this week. The D's have had some, <clears throat> sorry, D's have had some unusual wins this season, like losses this season, like last week against Frio. Mm. I still think they hold their place as one of the best teams in the comp on the day. They have an elite squad. So that's why I think the likes of Petrarca, Oliver, Jack Viney and Gorn I'm going to outmuscle these Carlton Stars and get a victory here. I contemplated doing a margin, but that I don't know what could happen here. Carlton have been... I know. They could lose by 50 or they could lose by six. So Out I'm just going to do head-to-head. all head. three of those, yours is the one I'm really worried about. Yeah, I just don't think Carlton... They yeah. can find form again, but they're going to need to build it, I think, over time with yeah. a few wins against easier teams. Yeah. I don't think they're going to come out having lost six last seven yeah, and 100%. beat Ds. It's almost like, for me, it's like when you got the, the Roosters who are playing so yeah. shit and you're like, oh, they got to fire soon. Exactly. Like everyone had their blues in the, in the top four. But that's why you're getting, a, getting the uh, $1.32 there. So yep. My biggest thing too with, um, with mine is there's every potential, right, that Penrith go, playing St. George, we're resting everyone. Mm. And then the odds go, you know, yeah. that's a problem doing it on a Monday. So They could also see... Like Penrith could go, oh, South's lost, Brisbane lost. No one's time to, no one's time going. to go up. Yeah, or they fucking just go, oh, we'll just play the kids. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so but that's the hard thing about that's punting the on beauty. a Monday. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Only two days with punt. no team list or anything out. Wednesdays yeah. and Saturdays. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's but anyway, so that's what's that plan? Uh You're getting two forty six, and then if you boost it, you're getting two fifty five. Look, my bet. Is uh, you're gonna get about two fifty? Mm. Yeah, on there, there you go. Lovely. Unless, uh, yeah, like you say, Penrith play no one. I think that's where it'll fluctuate. If anything, yeah, is is that origin? Who's gonna play? Who's not? Let's say Cleary's tooth hurts. Yeah, and fucking, true. And Cleary's tooth hurts, and he gets it taken out and oh, can't play. Yeah, and then uh, oh. <laughs> that was a great oh, fall. Dennis oh, time. Oh. <laughs> fucking tight Chinese Dennis time. <laughs> um, <laughs> But, yeah, so that where it might fluctuate. But, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Yes. Anyway, we need to get back on track. We do. We've gone win-loss, win-loss. So, mm. so let's go. Let's get some consistency. We just want wins. Yeah, yeah, just wins yeah. every single week. Yeah. That's, that'd be Because gambling is easy. <laughs> <laughs> Said no one yeah, ever. Ever. Exactly. <laughs> If it was that easy, we'd all be fucking rich. Yeah, so that's just right. Woo up on the messages, would just. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you reckon? Being an Origin special, we fucking finish off with a little play, little bet on the Origin each. Yeah, right, reckon just a little tip. Yep. Um, just for everyone's fucking information too, we are going to have the punters club and the old boys and everything, but that'll be out tomorrow morning, as well as the recap of the Origin. Yep. And I'm actually looking forward to myself. hearing that myself. You boys just feeling oh. whatever you're feeling. Yep. It's either going to be the happiest podcast or the fucking angriest podcast yeah, of all time. I think it'll be, yeah. Grape and I are really calm people. <laughs> I just hope the word Klein isn't in the headline. Oh, if the fucking title <laughs> is of Ashley tomorrow's Klein. 
episode is Ashley Klein. <laughs> oh, I'll be so angry. <laughs> Fuck no. Anyway, yeah. we hope you've enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, all that stuff is coming out. We're just, um, yeah, this one was more just on the uh, all in and the origin special. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. Let's throw a little fucking throw at the stumps. Yeah, that's exactly that's what honestly what it is. Body hole. Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> Your inner dad kisser coming in. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh well, who wants to fucking go first? Right, I'm going. My origin play is. I think it's going to be a tight one, regardless. No matter what teams or what, I think Origin just makes a game tight, like. So I think Queensland 1-12. to 12. I'm backing the boys to get the job done, done just. And I think I always chuck a winger in. I think Selwyn Cobbo's hot and ready to score a try. Mm. So I'm going him anytime. And who stands up for fucking Queensland when it matters, boys? Can money. Munster. Money, baby. Oh. So I'm going money anytime. That's giving you 21 bucks. Nice. With just them two? Just them two and oh, Queensland like to win. Fuck, I haven't got odds. Mm. $21, that's what I had a look though. on Bluebet before. So That's great. I fucking love that. I'm mm. sticking with something similar. I'm doing Queensland 1-12. I think it's ballsy for anyone to do 13-plus oh. in a game one of a series. You Only don't know. a fucking dad kisser would do that. Yeah, you don't know how the series is going to pan out at all. So we'll stick with the margin, 1-12. to And I'm doing a bloke who also has stood up for years, even when he was away from the game for a bit, and that's Valentine Holmes. Ooh, Ooh. he does. I reckon a little short ball on the edge there, he will fucking get straight through. And I even contemplate doing first try score, but that is ballsy. That is. So I'm just going to stick with any time. I'm doing Val any time. Queensland 1 at 12. That'll get you $11.20 with Bluebet. Cool. Well, I am being a coward and not picking a winner. Uh, That's fair enough. Some can, some can't. Is that bad, Juju? No. Okay. Is that worse I'm than going I was just checking. Because I don't want to pick a margin. <laughs> like, I think that we... I'd love for us to just pump them. Yeah, yeah. right. But right. I don't want to pick it. Yep. So, cool. I don't want to pick a margin. I'm going under 39 and a half points. Mm-hmm. So, hoping for, you know, an 18, 10 or something. Yep. yep. And I'm also going Cameron Munster to score. Nice. Anytime. I think unders is a great shout. Usually it's under at- 39 and a half. Munster to score anytime is getting $10. And if you boost her up, you'll get $11. That's nice. actually a very smart bet for either team to go on because you're not like picking a side there. Mm. Um, it does sound a bit cowardly, but it's not. <laughs> Oh, that's about to say slightly yeah. cowardly, but anyway. Oh. But you're not saying we're losing. You're no, just you're not tipping to... against us. I won't just... ever. Yeah, I will. Exactly. That is one thing I won't do. Yeah, no, I think I'd I fucking hope not. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh, hey. who knows? I might have fucking picked New South Wales against the worst team ever. Well, mm. I wouldn't put it past you, mate. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah. that was a great show. We will be back tomorrow morning with the recap yeah. with the old boys, with That's the right. uh, punters club. Whoever's so. listening still now, you're probably 100% a Queenslander. <laughs> yeah, so fucking be. let's go, boys. Fucking <laughs> let's get behind them. Queenslander, come on! <laughs>